The solution proposed by the Army Corps at that time included enlargement on three sides of these beams to add capacity. Rather than doing a three-side enlargement, we said we can justify, technically, we feel very comfortable in showing numerically that we can do that enlargement on one side. The steel was definitely a, a big challenge for us. It's a lot of steel and not a lot of space because we basically took three sides of enlargement worth of steel and condensed it down into one side. So there's a lot of congestion. We had some great support from um, our SMEs, subject matter experts from Structural Technologies um, who helped us work through some of those challenges and, and revise the, the steel detailing. We worked on uh, doing mock-ups on site with the steel reinforcements to verify the layout of the steel. We made changes a couple of times back and we keep changes. No, it's still not working until we've come up with something that would work. The system that we use at McNary was called it's Simon's Panels. They're traditionally used for lightweight work, which fit perfectly for our job site, because even though it's a, a dam and it has, you know, holding back the entire Columbia River and it's a huge project, sometimes relatively minor geometry fixes to jobs this big can get them the strength they need. Engineered forms help us control for quality, help us control for schedule, and allow, allow for real professionalization of the operations. How can we really figure out a way to connect the formwork and rather than try to shore it, just basically anchor it into the existing member and make it self-sustaining. Uh, self and we decided to go with, with the glass bars and connectors. So the nice thing, for example, about using glass bars, they're gonna be embedded in concrete and because they're not steel, you can easily cut them off, they're not gonna corrode, they would last for a long time. So that would be a great solution for the formwork that can take the pressure. And then the other challenging part of the job has been the, the mix design. It's a very specific mix that the Army Corps is asking for. Um, so we've had to do several revisions working with the mix. The McNary job in general, it had some requirements on it that were a bit atypical for an SEC mix. Normally we just work for spread and strength, um, but at McNary they had requirements for air content for long-term durability. Uh, their strength, and they had a lot of plastic requirements for their spread at various points in the core. The process to get composite behavior will be based around one, the fact that we have roughened the surface to about a 3 16 inch profile, we've added some additional reinforcing steel, we have formed up the repair area, and we will pump a specialty material that's very flowable into that formwork, and once we have evacuated all the air, we will pressurize that form to a pressure that is a back pressure at the gauge at the port of about 6 to 8 psi. That will result of about a one to two PSI internal pressure that will serve as the intimate contact to push the new material literally into the pores of the existing concrete and avoid a cold joint, hence getting composite action. And release the pressure, release the pressure. We have to be out of here by November 30th. There is a juvenile fish um, passage happening then. So tight schedule, a lot of beams.